Students in any discipline can best demonstrate their mastery of a skill if they teach it to others. The same concept can be used quite effectively in an art classroom. A cursory search on YouTube or Pinterest reveals hundreds of thousands of step-by-step -step tutorials to create nearly any art piece. Most are designed to be easily followed by the average person, yet they can produce some pretty stunning art pieces. I would like to challenge my students to search YouTube and Pinterest for a step-by-step -step tutorial that they can do on their own with minimal guidance. Once they've practiced a few times and mastered that skill, they would then use the classroom's iPad minis with their iographer cases, microphones, and tripods to film their own step-by-step -step tutorial, putting their own personal twist on the one that they'd researched. And we could watch the tutorials as a class and choose a few to do as a large group. This activity allows students to pursue an art activity that they're personally interested in, practice and master that skill, and then share what they've learned with the class. The activity also allows students to bring in media art skills such as filmmaking, narration, editing, and titling. I understand that many students are anxious about public speaking and making live presentations, but as these tutorials are recorded, multiple takes can be used and the video can be edited, and they don't necessarily have to appear on camera themselves. Even with students with extreme anxiety, you might find that they would be able to handle this project with little difficulty. Now, of course, the project can work equally well as a solo project or a small group project. If done as a small group project, I've had students identify which roles that they would like to take. Uh, the narrator, the hands, aka the talent, and the camera operator. And they can all share writing and editing jobs or assign them where appropriate. In an era of self-directed learning, students can flex their 21st century skills, learn and master a new skill, and then share what they've learned with the class. And if they make mistakes along the way, well, we've learned from Bob Ross that these happy accidents can lead to creative opportunities. So either way, we're going to have a lot of fun, learn something new, and share what we know with the class.